What's going on, my PT peeps? I'm looking at family, my fighter is one eyebrow, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about Mortal Kombat, the 2021 version of that movie. So obviously, spoiler warning for all things Mortal Kombat. And first, right off the bat, I have to say, it's a decent movie. It's a video game fighting video game, nonetheless, turned into a movie. There has to be somewhat of a story. It just can't be them fighting all the time. If you were, just go play the video game. But I remember way back when playing Mortal Kombat in the 90s. I was a huge Mortal Kombat fan and Street Fighter in the arcades on the Super Nintendo. Sega Genesis just takes me back, right? And this is really the third version of the Mortal Kombat movies. And the first movie coming out, I believe in 1995, was a big deal. And I have to say, it was decent. It was a decent movie. And in the 90s, that's all we could hope for, right? Yes, the story and the action and the acting and really everything about Mortal Kombat is not great. But again, it's a fighting video game turned into a movie. And we all can agree that Mortal Kombat Annihilation is the worst of the three by far. It's not even close. And it might be the worst video game adaptation turned into a movie. Well, Super Mario Brothers or Mario Brothers, whatever that movie was, that was pretty bad too. And I can't say it enough, if you go back and watch the 1995 version of Mortal Kombat, there's some decent things to it. There's some decent fighting, Sub-Zero's kind of cool, Scorpion's kind of cool, and I'm glad they went that route of focusing on Sub-Zero and Scorpion, and it just kind of makes you buy into the story a little bit more. Well, at least I did. And no Johnny Cage, well, he's technically in this movie, well, he's in this movie right here with Goro, and we did see, hopefully they'll make a Mortal Kombat 2, but Goro here and Goro there, I have to say, looks much better here. And I'm not really sure who the Cole character is. And I haven't really played all of the Mortal Kombats over the years. I mean, I believe there's Mortal Kombat 12 now. But Cole is the guy we're following. And I do kind of like the idea of him having the Mortal Kombat symbol on him. He has the blood of Scorpion, Hanzo, basically. And you kind of buy into, well, at least I did, like I said before, the story of Sub-Zero versus Scorpion. And there were rival gangs and rival stuff there. And there's a history between them. So they went fire and ice, which is kind of common in a lot of things. But it's just cool to see the characters come to life in some way, shape, or form. I like the opening seven minutes of the story with them fighting. Kind of thought the baby was going to be Cole, but it wasn't. Maybe she's out there somewhere else. I'm not sure if that's Katana or another character. But we'll see what happens with if they bring sub If there is a second movie. The way it ends, I hope it does well enough for a second movie. And I don't know the budget of this movie, but... It was a lot of CGI effects. There was a lot of cool stuff in this movie with the digital effects. And somebody said it in the comments on YouTube and Facebook. This is the Fast and Furious fighting video game movie. Just enjoy it. Have fun with it. Don't read into it too much. I mean, these people have powers all over the place. This guy, Jax, got his arms ripped off by Sub-Zero and then he got metal arms put on. Pretty cool, but not realistic, right? If you're going for realism here, you really probably shouldn't be watching this. If you're a fan of the video games, hopefully the first three at least, maybe the latest versions of it, you probably enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Get Over Here. Like, I mean, that's iconic for Mortal Kombat. Again, Fire and Ice, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, where's it going with it? Raiden was kind of cool. I mean, he's the guardian of Earthrealm, so it makes sense that he doesn't fight. I would love to see him fight more. Sonya was kind of cool, and I did like, and you knew they were going to go the special ops, special forces route with Sonya and Jax, just because that's what the characters are. Melina is gross, but it's kind of interesting to see who they brought into the movie. Did you agree with the character choices? They could have brought in more people, different people. We have to say Kano is probably the best. He was the funniest. He was cracking me up so many times in the movie. He killed Reptile, which was pretty cool. Kung Lao and Liu Kang were pretty cool fighters. And so they brought in characters from the first three video games and various other ones too. Some of the people I didn't recognize. But overall, Mortal Kombat is a fun movie. If you enjoy the video games, you'll hopefully enjoy this. A lot of people like it, don't like it. The reviews are all over the place. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Couldn't buy into it. But overall, it's a good movie on HBO Max. If you have HBO Max, it's free. Why not check it out? You know, it's two hours and some odd minutes, two and a half hours, I think. It's a fun ride. 
wasn't falling asleep during it. And again, I grew up with the video games, action sequences, 80s movies, 90s movies, and video games. So why not check it out? Thank you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Stay safe. Finish him. Flawless victory.